Hey guys, um, this is my uh, daily vlog about how I did my writing. Um, I did not do very good today at all. I had a very, very lazy day today, unfortunately. Um, and tomorrow won't be much better. Uh, I'm working a double tomorrow, so. Um, but, um, I did think a little bit more about my story, so I did have my story on my mind, kind of playing it out. I am going to start working on it Saturday. Since I'm working on a double, I will not be starting it on Friday, but I will start on Saturday. Um, my daily goal is a thousand words. So it should take me about a hundred days to finish. This is going to be about a hundred day vlog starting Saturday. Um, because I want it to be about a hundred thousand words. I think that's right. A thousand words times a hundred. Yeah, I think it's a hundred thousand words. It may be a little less. I don't know. A little less words, I mean. Um, what else can I say? Oh, um, let's see. I guess an important thought for the day is, um, even in trying times, um, the seed of creativity is always there. So even when you're having a rough day or a lazy day like I had today, don't trifle your creativity. Let it blossom. Let it become something that you can be proud of. Um, I did read today. Uh, instead of writing, I read. So I read uh, a little bit of the American God book. I'm reading American God's book. I'm reading. I also read a little bit of my Grammar 101 book. Um, I worked a little bit on my Facebook group, the Writer's Tavern, which you are feel free to um, join because we we love writers and we love readers. So if you're just a reader and you're just watching this to see what a writer's process is, um, well, a future writer, <laughs> not a writer quite yet, but I will be. I'm a writer. I'm not a published professional author. There's a difference. Everybody can be a writer. Everybody can be a published author if they if they stick to it and have that drive and motivation. And if my days continue like they did today and yesterday, I'm never going to get there. And I understand that. I need to buckle down and I need to work. I may actually, after I record this video, work a little bit on it. I may, um, you know, write write a little bit. I may start today. I don't know. It depends on what I do. I'll update you tomorrow to see if I started or not. Um. Another thing I wanted to talk about is I don't want to talk any current events because honestly I don't want to put my opinion out there. It's not my opinion. It's my opinion to share, but it's not what I want to share. Um, I hope everyone's staying safe right now during all this. Um, I'm hoping us homebodies are kind of used to the whole staying home thing. So work has got me out there, but yeah, it was what it is. Um, I mentioned a couple videos ago, I think it was either the first or second video, about uh, Stephen King's On Writing, which is over there on my bookshelf. I talked about how it talked about the muse, and how it never comes, which is true, it never does. Um, but I want to write, I want to say some counter-argument to that. The muse may not come... But the creativity is always there. Which is what I think he meant by that. I think he meant there's never going to be that muse. But you still got to write. Which I know I'm talking. I'm, 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 I'm like saying something, doing another kind of thing. By not doing writing yesterday and today. Which is why I'm seriously considering writing after this. Um, but yeah. The, the muse never comes, but you still gotta do it. If you wanted to become a writer, you gotta write. And sadly, I'm learning that. Oh, I did get some good news today. Um, I might start taking some English classes online and some just getting my degree. So that's that's gonna be good. I'll share my knowledge that I get from that with you guys. Um, I'm in a good mood today. I've, I've had a good day with my. Uh, even though it's been a lazy day with my writing, my general mood has been pretty good, which is good. I got off work early today, though. We were so slow. 
I'm hoping, I'm working, like I said, working double tomorrow, so I shouldn't be coming home early tomorrow, not like 2 o'clock. Ugh, I home so early today. Um. I guess, I, I talked about my kind of my online strategy for this book, it's a 27 chapter, which I think is the one I'm going to go with. I think I'm going to go with the 27 chapter outline. And how I'm going to do it is, chapter 1 is the intro, the, the intro, um, Introduction, chapter two is inciting incident, chapter three is the rising action. Uh, I don't know. I, I linked it uh, the video a couple of videos back, so if you want to go check that out, it's in one of the descriptions. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you, I have an Instagram. I also have a Facebook group, and I have a what else do I have? Twitter. I have a Twitter, which I gotta get into Twitter. Yeah, but you know. One thing about writing, and it's and this is this is the case for everything. It, it really, really is, and I'm slowly getting there. I'm slowly getting to that realization. Like I know it, but living it is a whole different story. Enough with the the talking about it. What I was going to say. You only achieve at what you put effort towards. Okay. I know it's a simple statement. Let me explain it. Let me explain with examples. Me. I'm putting a lot of effort into work right now. So I'm achieving at work. I'm not putting a lot of effort in my writing. Which I'm going to change. So I'm going to start doing that. Um, some personal things that I need to work on. I'm not putting effort into. So I, I'm, I'm narrowed it down to three areas of my life that I want to work on. And, th and this is kind of like my declaration. I'm going to work on work. I'm gonna work on writing. I'm gonna work on my financial life and just kind of getting that in order. Um, I, I just believe that, like I said, what you put effort in is what you get out of it. So what you put in is what you get out. Simple as that. There's no if and or 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 buts. <laughs> so many ors. There's just there's no there won't no way around it. When you, what you put effort in is what you get out. So if you put six percent into it you get six percent out you put sixty percent in you get sixty percent out and i understand it's hard to put a hundred percent into everything you do that's why i've narrowed it down to three things i'm not gonna be like you know the whole saying jack of all trades is a master of none i'm gonna pick three areas of my life work writing and finances and i'm gonna get those straight and when i get those straight i'm gonna pick three more I know that this still seems like a jack of all trades, but it's not. You master the three, then you move on more. Um, I have my hobbies. I have D&D. I'm learning sign language. Correct me if I was wrong. My friend at work is teaching me. It's supposed to be, how are you? <laughs> um, but, so I have my hobbies to keep me interested. Not interested. Keep me busy whenever I don't do those. Because you, all work and no play makes jack a rough, makes jack a... Sad man, something like that. I don't quite remember how that statement went. Um, I'm getting better at getting comfortable in front of the camera. I am random thoughts all over the place. Like, this is what this is. This is just my random thoughts and writing thrown in there. <laughs> Which I'm, I'm, I'm okay with. I mean, eventually I'll get some structure to my videos. And I believe that as I learn writing and learn all this, I'll structure my videos more and I'll make them more professional but this is just a conversation between me and you just my thoughts what's going on in my head with my writing and my life just kind of narrow down for you guys and I, I hope you join me on this trip um if you're interested um i'm throwing this out there because not many people know when i do this my facebook group does but there's only like 10 members right now part of the facebook group i want to start a reading club so if you're interested in that, like, um, I haven't picked the first book yet. Uh, I'm going to ha have the group help me decide the first book we read. But I know as readers, I mean, as writers, we need to be readers. So that's important. Um, what else? One last thing I was going to mention. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, 
in the comments if you made it all the way to the end <laughs> we start this section uh, we start this this part of the mob vlogs if you made it all the way to the end comment your favorite genre of story either what you like to read or what you like to write or if you like to read one thing and write another let me know post both of them or comment both of them and I'll be looking forward to hear from you guys and uh, keep on writing keep on reading and I'll see you next time